Scorpio, welcome to your weekly forecast for June 19th until 25th. Now let's see what's going to come your way this week, Scorpio. As usual, I'll be doing your general money, sex, health, love, and oracle cards. Alright? Now let's take a look. You want to get away for a little while this week, Scorpio. You've been working and working and working and you're thinking of getting a break. You want to get away for a little while and take a little breather. You feel like your work, your your deadlines, it already reached up to your throat. So it's all been suffocating you. Also, I feel like you want to look for a new job someplace else. Mm. But you're really having a lot of hard time right now. Uh, I feel like you've been trying to contact a lot of your friends, but nobody's available. You wanna, it's like you want to look for a, rec for a, like a recommendation, a reference. And feeling so isolated in your relationship knowing and you feel like your partner has been doing something right behind you I also feel like you got two choices there's like a you know like a either like a side person or somebody that you're casual with while the one that you really wanted to be with or the one that you really love is playing with fire with somebody let's take a look at your health you need to change your eyeglasses or upgrade well you want to have fun seems like girls just want to have fun this week let's take a look also you will have a problem with your with one of your front teeth either toothache or a tooth will fall or there will be a problem with your gums but it's in your front teeth I also feel like you need to avoid getting a brace or you need to remove your brace or don't even offer a retainer now it's not really the right time Alright, Scorpio. It's time to let loose and it's time to breathe. You feel like you are... It's like you can't really breathe anymore. You feel so frustrated. You've been working and working and working and working. And you are looking for a diversion. Okay? You are looking for some more... Let me adjust the camera for a little while. Alright. Well, I guess that's the best angle. Anyway... And you feel like you just want to, you're no longer happy with wherever you are right now. You don't even know, I mean before it's paying a lot and it's like you're very, you know, you're very diligent, your heart is so into it, your energy is so into it, you feel like you can, you know, reach places, you can reach, you, you can go the distance, you had the, uh, you know, the, um, the support of your superiors, but right now, Something just feels so wrong and something just feels so, you know, a little bit, um, like, something is off the picture. Like, you know that there's something wrong, but you just can't really point your finger at. Right? Now, somebody is trying to sabotage you and doing something behind you at work. There is somebody that you consider as your friend or close friend, a close acquaintance, someone that you're working with closely 
and which is I feel like it's also a part of your team who's been betraying you and trying to tarnish your reputation by copying or fabricating documents or, or things or signature and I feel like you've been trusting this person too much and this is younger than you okay and I feel like you need to right before you go okay because I feel like this person is even gonna drive you crazy and gonna give you a lot of hard time to file for a vacation or for leave and you need to start thinking that there is somebody who's been sabotaging you and who's been like getting in the way or trying to stand in your way all right I also feel like the reason why you also want to get away is because of the person that you're with your relationship is not really doing good right now that you feel like you don't even know where is this going you don't feel connected you feel like your partner is cheating on you you feel like your partner is taking advantage of the situation that you that you're always been busy but it hasn't been fruitful for the past few weeks and you don't even know where your life is going there's a part of you who wants to quit but there's a part of you that no I need to be practical I need to think clear and I can't be really emotional right now because you know I still have to have a backup. Now, last thing is you want to look for work elsewhere. You want to live abroad or you want to live to another town or city. And you just want to be free from a lot of politics, a lot of issues, a lot of dramas. Even to the extent of leaving your partner right now has been very busy playing with fire. Now, when it comes to your work, Someone, as I've said, you know, as I've said that there are somebody who's been doing tricks on you and I feel like you will be turning your back onto this person because you already know who this is. You already have an idea. This is younger than you, very ambitious, uh, disillusional, and I feel like this person is like he, they don't know how to act properly, okay? You're also going to start talking and communicating with a person from the past which is a former work colleague or a former boss or a former superior or something like that and you are going to be asking for some inputs because you just don't complain too much that you're no longer happy with wherever you are the person that you will be talking to doesn't want to um doesn't want to employ or have a winder Whatever happens, if you want to ask for help from this person from the past that you knew, you have to make it appear that you're just looking for more challenge because you've already, you know, served your own purpose in that company and now you're looking for a new breeding ground. Don't complain. Don't say anything against your current company. Just keep it to yourself because you're definitely, you are, um, you're not gonna tell this to the right person, okay? And yes, that person's gonna sympath, you know, just gonna sympathize on you. But I uh, don't feel like they would feel, you know, the need to have you in their team. When it comes to your sex life, most of the time you're doing it alone, or most of the time you're doing it yourself. There's somebody around you that you feel like you can be casual with, somebody like a rebound, or somebody that you're like friends with benefits. But the person that you really want to be with has been like very selfish, self centered, and self absorbed. That right after, you know, right in the middle of your relationship, that you're no longer happy and the, uh, the flame's gone. Now that, you know, this person is look, kind of looking for more actions and more fun and flair especially if you're with an air sign okay that has a salt and pepper hair and this person is pretty much acting like a jerk for the past four to seven weeks already all right and I feel like this person is messing around with a co-worker or somebody around his work and they've been sneaking behind and you already know about this so, I feel like Scorpio, it's time for you to make a decision. Don't wait for your partner to touch to touch you because definitely your partner is always touching someone else. Anyway, as for your health, you need to upgrade your eyeglasses, you need to change your contacts 
or you need to have a check up with the optometrist about your cataract and there's something that's been growing inside your eyes especially if your eyes have been itchy and it's like you're having a lot of blurry like um, astigmatism you need to go out and check with your doctor you want to go out and have some fun you want you want to like distress and you want to like remove the emotional toxins the emotional baggages things that you just want to remove outside your system you just want to swim until you're already tired and then you're gonna swim back to the shore okay I feel like you need some time alone don't go with anyone you have to you know make a self-reflection and you just need to my guys are telling me that you have to buy new shoes <laughs> I'm not really sure where did it came from, but anyway, maybe that will make you happy and maybe that will suit you, but I feel like you need to buy new shoes out of nowhere that, because I am talking about your health. Anyway, I also feel like you need to um, lay low in taking antibiotics, especially if it's, you know, if whatever that you've been curing it's already okay because it will damage your liver and lower down your intake of um, um, like a pain reliever all right now when it comes to your love <sighs> forgiving and learning you know what at this point you can forgive but you're not really the kind of person who forgets so it's gonna take some time okay and this person has been like stepping on you treating you like a doormat and never treated you like a you know like a real person and a partner so it's time for you to make a decision you can forgive and forget but don't ever come back there again it's time for you to burn down the bridge okay you need to make a de you need to make a decision real soon because there is somebody already waiting for you outside the door but you know what what you need to what you need to study is don't uh don't codepend okay I also feel like if you're ha if you had a if you have some children with your current partner right now don't let it be a factor for you to stay and for you to stagnate your life because there is one true love that's gonna come your way and you need to make a decision now before you're gonna miss the train okay now when it comes to your oracle cards when you accept responsibility for your life and the choices you make you begin to tap into the power of your own spirit You'll be able to listen to and appreciate intuitive wisdom that's inside you and apply it positively and constructively to your outside world. As I've said, you, you know, this actually resonates to each other. You need to make a choice, okay? And you need to move on. Don't, whatever that you've had in the past, whatever that you've gone through, let it be a part of your experience and let it be a part of your learning, okay? Now just ask, there are, many, uh, there are many here in the spirit world that can assist you at this time. We are made up of the divine source, your loved ones, your friends, um, guides, angels, and spirit helpers are waiting to assist you. We are your spiritual team and all you have to do is ask for our help and guidance. Because right now you feel like you are right in the middle of the tunnel and you can't find anyone to hold down the light and you can't even you don't even know if how long can you still track down the tunnel for you to find the light you need to ask for the help of your guidance and if there is something like a symbolic dream that you have to take note do it reflect and ask for the answer okay and be more observant Strength strength comes from many sources. Staying strong becomes confidence, conviction in a balanced body, mind, and soul. Spirit has its own unique and beautiful way of replenishing your soul with strength on a continual basis. You're never really alone as you are always with you. Right now, as I've said that you want to go on a vacation, and I feel like you need to do this on your own. Because... You need to find yourself again and you need to regain your strength for you to make the right choice. Don't think when your emotions are way too high and don't make a decision when you're too emotional. All right. Anyway, that's it for you for this week's Scorpio. And if you want to have your own personalized readings, go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. You may talk to me live on the phone or live video call. Okay. Plus, I will have a big announcement later on. All right. Blessings to you.